and welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to do a little walking tour of burke street at least the most popular parts i will do a separate video for southern cross if you guys are interested definitely let me know down in the comment box down below Now normally I try and show you guys a little bit more of Parliament House but as you guys can see there are protesters there. It's not really uncommon these days to see people um, holding sort of like a protest or some sort of talks in front of Parliament. That's just how it is. If you live in a democracy that is how it works. Uh, but yeah I'm going to walk down um, Burke Street and show you guys other things you guys can see here. Um, one place that I didn't really know existed until I started walking around here the last few weeks is there are some graffiti streets as well so I will show you guys that in a second. I love walking here and that um, rooftop bar, I think it's called The Loop. Uh, I've been there before with the Google Pixel fam and it is so beautiful up there. And I just love rooftop bars here in Melbourne. There's, it's a thing definitely you need to experience when you come and visit. There's also another one along the street, it's called Madame Brussels. Um, it's quite popular, I've been there a couple of times, I've also been there for a couple of events as well and it's just so much fun and their cocktails are delish. So um, unfortunately they're currently closed and um, I don't think they open until the 3rd of July so if you guys are going to be visiting after then definitely check it out because it is definitely one of the places you must see um, when you come and visit Melbourne. Further down you walk, there's going to be more cafes and restaurants to check out. Um, this particular part of Burke Street, which I'm just showing you guys right now, I've been there for a couple of coffees here and there. If you guys are into al fresco, sort of like dining, so like sitting outside in the sunshine for coffee or food, it's perfect. Um, and also you definitely get to see a lot of what's happening in Melbourne. You get to see the iconic trams as well. So, you know, definitely perfect for Instagram. If you guys are looking for a great pub, I highly recommend Elephant and Wheelbarrow. It's a traditional British pub. I just really like the atmosphere. It's never too rowdy, it's never too loud, um, so it's a perfect spot in the CBD. Okay, so we're now here at Paramount Centre. So I would describe this as your sort of like typical Asian um, shopping center in the middle of a western city. I find that a lot of major cities tend to have one of these where it's pretty much run or majority of the stores available here are sort of like specialty um, Asian ethnic shops. So you'll get some Chinese shops, you'll get some Vietnamese shops. Um, you've also obviously got your beauty centers like the nail and hair salons and stuff like that. But they tend to specialize and cater specifically towards <laughs> towards 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 an Asian clientele. I've come here every now and then just to find certain things, whether it be beauty or food products. Um, also, they have a food court down below. So I'm currently on the ground level. So if you just take the escalators down, um, there is a food court there. So if you want to save some money and you're craving Asian food, definitely come here as well. Uh, I don't think they're open at the moment just because of what's currently happening in the world situation. But now let's move back out to Burke Street. Let's check this place out. So this is mid city centre. Um, so this is one of the shopping centres that's definitely more focused on the Asian clientele as well. Um, just because um, Chinatown's actually on the other side of this block, so that kind of makes sense. So we have a variety of cuisines. I think mostly um, 
Chinese and Taiwanese from what I can tell. Um, there might be some Japanese mixed in here as well, I can't actually tell. Uh, actually, one of them looks to Japanese, yeah. Um, oh yeah, there's definitely one here that's ramen, it says Mr. Ramen Sun. Um, and then they also have their desserts as well and bubble tea as well. I've never actually been to this place, so Wagaya. It actually looks pretty good. I might actually see if my partner and I can come here when things start to calm down because that actually looks pretty good. Probably one of the cheapest and most popular Hong Kong style restaurants is Tim Ho Wan. I'm pretty sure it's from Hong Kong. Don't kill me if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, I actually haven't had Tim Ho Wan since I've left Hong Kong. Um, I only ever really go there when I'm in Hong Kong. I've never been to this one just because I feel like it's so it's always such a long queue and I can't be bothered to go in. Anyway, I'm going to do another little project. I am going to go into Merry Seasons. I am going to put that on my beauty channel. So if you guys would like to watch that, definitely check it out on the eye on the screen and down in the description box down below. Basically, I am going to go inside and show you guys what they have in stock. Um, they basically stock Korean and Japanese um, beauty and homeware, cookware sort of stuff. If that is your jam, definitely check that video out. further down the street we are going to head towards more of the traditional um, like bigger name shops like David Jones and Myers. also a little side note these things are really cute I don't know what they're called but like once you get to this crossing um, Burke Street and Swanson look up you guys will see this it's very very interesting so if you don't know what David Jones and Maya are they're basically I would like to describe the big um, department stores so you can think of like Harrods that sort of stuff um, I'm maybe Macy's in America. I'm not really sure. I'm just kind of like throwing names. I don't actually know if they are the equivalent, but yeah, they have a lot of like high range or big no big name brands, that sort of stuff. And then if you walk down but um, Burke Street, you'll see places like Zara um, and also other like clothing brands as well. And um, so you do have a decent range of expensive to you know average consumer sort of like um, shopping available here. Okay, so we're now here at the Royal Arcade. Um, I did feature this in one of my previous videos before, but I didn't really show it off too much. I just kind of like went quickly and showed you guys what was in here, but I really want to show you guys, now that I have a little bit more time, um, what's available here. Cardivine, I think it's called Cardivine. Anyway, um, it's literally a little laneway and there's like heaps and heaps of restaurants in there. Um, I might as well just show you guys what's available in there because honestly, it's kind of like taking you to a whole new world. normally packed obviously because of what's currently happening it's not as busy but normally this place is packed it's definitely a vibe in here so I'm not surprised that this is definitely one of the most popular yet hidden uh, little restaurants here in Melbourne so I think that pretty much ends my little tour of Burke Street the rest of Burke Street that I was gonna go continue on is pretty much heading towards um, Hardware Lane if you guys would like me to check out Hardware Lane, definitely let me know and I can definitely arrange some time off to go see it and like order some food and just show you guys what the vibe is there. Uh, at the moment, I don't think it's very busy. Um, I don't think all the restaurants are open as well just because of what's currently happening. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.